Good morning, this is Miss Norma. Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. It's so good to see everyone. And um, I know I don't see you all, but one day I will. I'm going to do a live one day. But it's good to be seen as well. And I pray that you will be blessed today um, as a result of the reading and blessed today during our prayer. Let us pray. Abba Father, thank you, Lord God, for waking us up this morning clothed in our right minds. Some of us, Lord, woke up to heavy challenges, and it's not a bright and sunny day for us. But Father, we know that you have not left us nor forsake us because you promised that you wouldn't. So Lord, for those of us that woke up in such a state, that woke up in such a state, take our hand, Lord, and comfort us. Bring us through the day, Lord. Send that helping hand if it's needed, Lord, or if there's that strength inside of us that we are able to pull upon, Lord. Push it to the surface, Lord, that we might grab hold to it. And Lord, thank you for the sunshine that we will see, Lord. We may not see it right now, but it's there. So we thank you for the S-O-N sunshine, Lord. In Jesus' name, bless us all and keep us. Forgive us of our trespasses and our sins. And Lord, as we have our various experiences from day to day, show us the way to fall deeper in love with you and to trust you with everything that concerns us. Thank you. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning once again. It's February the 15th. And our reading is entitled TNTC. The faithful love of the Lord never ends. His mercies never cease. Great is his faithfulness. His mercies begin afresh each morning. Lamentations 3, chapters 22 and 23. The New Living Translation. TNTC. Too numerous to count which is a common abbreviation in lab parlance. TNTC refers to the appearance of so many bacteria in the field being viewed under a microscope that they can't be counted individually. And that's how I think of God's blessings. There are so many of them, some we're fully aware of, but I believe that we're completely clueless about so many others. Why some of them even masquerade as catastrophes. Many of my greatest blessings have been achieved in painful circumstances that I'd rather have skipped if I could have. But God works in every situation for our highest good, allowing and alternately preventing certain things in view of our best interests. I was let go from a job once, fired actually, early in my career. It was an awful shock and a terrible time. I was embarrassed and demoralized and ashamed. But the Lord provided an opportunity to work in a setting that I never would have thought of if this incident hadn't occurred. In my new setting, I received specialized training that changed the entire trajectory of my career in a most positive way. I wonder over it yet. Obvious blessings, sunshine, a comfortable home, reliable transportation, friends, pets, a breathtaking sunrise or sunset, food. These were effort these were are effortless these we are effortlessly my apologies. These we are effort effortlessly thankful for. Amen. We have no trouble at all recognizing and acknowledging them as blessings. 
But let us also be grateful for those things that cause us pain through which the Lord can bless us in ways we can't imagine. Illness, marital difficulties, concerns over children, a job loss, a difficult move, a separation from loved ones by death. God is certainly faithful. His love truly never ends. His mercies will not cease. He always means us well. We can trust him to make blessings out of both the obvious positives and all the rest. And his mercies start over again every single morning. Excellent. Abba Father, thank you for this reading. Thank you for the joy it will bring to someone. Thank you for the clarification and understanding it will bring to another. And Lord, thank you for the peace that is going to bring to someone. Our reading today was written by Carol K. Kallstrom. Our readings once again come from the book, Covered and Carried, a devotional book for 2022. Bless us, Lord God. Thank you so much. Let us pray. Father, we thank you, Lord, as we close out from the reading. Some of us will get ready to go to work. And some of, us just, some of us are just coming in from work and getting ready to rest. I pray for each and every one of us, Lord, in our own unique circumstances. I thank you, Lord, for blessing our homes, protecting us, Lord, through the night or through the day, being with our children, our grandchildren, even our great-grands, Lord. And in some cases, some of us are great-great-grandmothers. So I say thank you. Lord, I ask your blessing um, for safe travel on the highways and byways and local streets. And thank you, Lord, for forgiveness of our trespasses and our sins. And Lord, today I ask that you would give to each one of us the ability and the will to forgive because there are many times that forgiveness isn't for the other person. Forgiveness is our own personal freedom. So thank you once again, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen, amen, and amen again. Have a blessed day, everyone. Um, this is Ms. Norma getting ready to sign off. Um, two things. One, ask for your song today. The Lord has a song to put in your heart to walk you through whatever your day is like. And mwah, this is Miss Norma. Have a blessed day. And by his grace, I will see you on tomorrow. Amen. <laughs>